Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and I'm sitting here in front of a pile of whips to do a what hopefully is a short video about all the different materials that whips can be made out of. So I got a pretty large collection of whips. I counted them last year and I got almost 300 of them. So I got out all the different materials that I have in my collection and then while I'm rattling through it, I'll try to list off a few other materials I've heard of whips being made out of, but I don't have them in my collection. So uh, first, I uh, have some different categories here. We've got the leather whip category, and then we've got the uh, synthetic whip category. Uh, this uh, Kevlar whip fits in there. And then we've got the uh, natural materials, and we're here, uh, or natural fibers. And then uh, over here is the metal whip category. So uh, let me just get through the list, and this might take me a while. For the leathers, probably uh, the reigning champion is kangaroo leather. And then in this pile, I've got a bunch of other leathers. We have uh, Latigo, or red hide from Australia, uh, chrome tan cowhide from America, uh, from Florida. Here is another Latigo whip, but this is a different type of Latigo from Herman Oak. Uh, we also have a kudu hide from South Africa, and deer hide from Florida, a white hide from Australia, which is a cowhide that has been treated with alum salts. And we have a cowhide whip from Hungary right here, and I believe it's made out of a very similar material to the white hide. I'm not sure what they call it in Hungary. And here we got a large bull whip that I made years ago for my dad. It's made out of chrome tan, cowhide, and elk hide from an elk that he shot. And for other leathers that whips have been made out of, they include a goat, bison, and even rhino back when there used to be more of them. In the synthetic section, uh, we've got the uh, the reigning champion, a 550 parachute cord. Uh, that is nylon. Also for nylon, we have a 275 cord and the uh, whip maker's cord that was designed by Nick Schrader. Something that is a similar size to the whip maker's cord is a Dacron. Uh, Dacron only comes in black and white. This is a whip I made myself. And we have a Whippa lace from Simon Martin. Now Simon won't say what the Whippa lace is, but as best as I can tell, I believe the Whippa lace is uh, Dyneema, also called Spectra. Uh, it has a, it's very durable, has a high resistance to abrasion, so it makes a very long-lasting whip. Let's see. In the synthetic category, we also have a whip from China. This is made from polyester thread, I believe. And then back here, of course, I have a Kevlar fire whip. And whips can also be made out of Kevlar that don't work as fire whips, they're just normal whips. And in the list of materials I don't have represented in the synthetic section would be uh, Technora, which is a substitute for Kevlar. Uh, rubber, such as the serpentine whips made by Conrad Rustenberg. And poly rope, I've had uh, some poly ropes made, for, or poly rope whips made in the Philippines. And last but not least, duct tape is a popular synthetic material. So if you're on YouTube, you've probably already seen some new tutorials about how to make a rope whip out of duct tape. Okay. And here is the natural fiber material category. Uh, these are all from the German speaking regions of Europe. And let's see, this one's from uh, Northern Italy where they do speak some German. This one's made out of linen. And the other one down here from Switzerland is also made out of linen, also known as flax. And then this top one here is from Austria. This one is actually made from hemp fiber. So uh, all, all three of these are very loud whips. And over here is the metal category. So I have stainless steel and titanium. If you like the titanium whip, I posted a video about it on YouTube not too long ago. And also in the metal category of things, I have seen, but I don't own, I have seen Blake Bruning of Trinity Whip Company make whips out of copper. And I'll end my list of what whips can be made out of with the creepy one. Whips can also be made out of human skin and bone. Now, I haven't seen one in person, but if you get a copy of David Morgan's book, Whips and Whip Making, which is a great book and every whip enthusiast should have one, get a copy of that book. There's a picture of a whip from Tibet made for religious purposes to scare evil demons away. And it's made out of a femur for the handle and then tanned human skin for the uh, thong of the whip. Those are all the materials. And I'm sure some people would have some questions about, uh, after going through all these materials, like, well, why don't we make sense of it? So the first question could be, if I'm gonna buy my first whip, what should it be made out of? My quick answer is parachute cord. It's uh, the easiest to find. It's generally gonna be the cheapest and the most durable. Another question would be, if I'm gonna make my first whip, 
what should it be made out of? Again, parachute cord. Now, when I started making whips, uh, I didn't actually know about making paracord whips. I only knew about leather, so I made my first whips out of cowhide. And you might also be wondering, of all these materials, what makes like the loudest, best whip? And generally, you would say that the best whips in the world are made from kangaroo leather. However, there's plenty of ways to make a bad whip. So I would say when you choose a whip based on material, what the material is going to tell you is more about how expensive the whip's going to be and maybe how durable it is. But the material choice itself is not going to tell you anything about how well that whip works. There are plenty of very bad kangaroo hide whips out there. And probably your best way to get a good whip is to buy directly from a reputable maker and not buy from like a, a huge website like Amazon or eBay. Let's see what other questions I have. And then, so now, I know it's a big pile and it's hard to differentiate, so I'm going to go through the pros and cons of the most common materials for whips. That would be a parachute cord, cowhide, and kangaroo. Here I have a pile of parachute cord whips. I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of parachute cord. Some of the pros are that parachute cord is much less maintenance than having a leather whip. You don't have to grease it, you don't have to worry about getting it wet. Also, it's much cheaper than leather, generally, and it can be made into a whip that cracks as good as any leather whip. You weren't always able to say that about nylon whips, that they could crack as good as, a, say, a high-end kangaroo hide whip, but uh, nowadays there's a lot more nylon whip makers out there that are more concerned with the performance of their whips, so it is possible now to buy nylon whips that crack very well. And I would say some of the cons with parachute cord, there aren't many, but I would generally say when it comes to comparing parachute cord whips to high-end leather whips, they aren't as collectible. Like when I'm buying nylon whips, I look at them as a whip to be used and a whip to be worn out. I don't look at it as buying something that's say like a family heirloom or that I'm going to pass down from generation to generation like a high-end leather whip would be. Now, here's a pile of whips made from cowhide. Some of the pros of cowhide is that it is leather and that for most people their idea of a good whip is going to be made out of leather. And it is a leather that's cheaper than kangaroo leather. So that's one advantage. Also, uh, in many countries, cowhide is the traditional material that whips are made from. Particularly in the United States or Australia and Hungary, cowhide was the leather that their, a lot of their traditional whips were made out of. Now some of the cons of cowhide is it can be very difficult to find good cowhide whips. Unfortunately, most of the cowhide whips that you're going to find nowadays are made for tourists or sold on large websites like eBay or Amazon. And they aren't really made to, to be used. They're mostly made to sort of look like a good whip and not be that expensive and then just be sold in large volumes to people. So it's rare to find a good cowhide whip. Uh, in this pile, I would say in the, the the two cowhide whips here that were meant for a lot of use is here on the bottom I have a set of cowhide or a, they call them red hide or latigo stock whips made by Glenn Denholm. And Glenn it lives in Australia just outside of Sydney. And the thing, if you get good red hide, good latigo, it makes an extremely durable whip. It's a very tough whip. And this would be the traditional working whip used by the Australian stockman. And part of the reason, usually think Australia, you would think of kangaroo leather whips. But for the stockman who's moving cows in rough conditions, you'd be more, much more likely to use a red hide stock whip uh, because the leather is a little bit thicker and is very tough. And uh, also, when it comes to working cattle, here we have a Hungarian whip made out of uh, what I would call white hide, or it looks similar to, to white hide. It's not raw hide, it's been treated with something, possibly alum salts, to uh, tan it a little bit. And uh, so this is a traditional whip from Hungary. I believe all their whips are made from cowhide. And if you want to get a good one of these, and a lot of their whips are good, then cowhide is really the only option that they have. And here is a pile of kangaroo leather whips. I'd say that kangaroo hide has long been considered the very best leather for whip making. And part of that reason is that for its thickness, kangaroo hide has the highest tensile strength. That means you can it's a thin leather that you can cut into thin strands and you pull on it and it's very difficult to break. So we have some different whips. We have a 
some Indiana Jones style bull whips, a snake whip. Here's a swivel handled kangaroo hide bull whip made in Australia by Cy Davey. And one thing I would say the major pro about kangaroo hide that it really has over all of the other materials is that kangaroo leather allows for the highest expression of artistry in whip making. So here I have two examples of some very nice whip art. Uh, these ones in the back here are made by Blake Gorey of Smoky Mountain Whips and he has made uh, snake heads or a snake in the grip. That's a very cool design. And here is a great whip by Peter Thorndike, the award-winning Australian whip maker. This is the Man from Snowy River whip with 72 strands in the handle and he's braided patterns to the uh, scenes from the poem by Banjo Patterson, The Man from Snowy River. So I'd say some of the cons of kangaroo leather, probably for most people, is its expense. Kangaroo is the best leather for whip making, but it is also very expensive. And one thing I would say, you might be comparing, say, kangaroo leather to parachute cord. I'd say that both uh, kangaroo hide and parachute cord will last a long time, as long as you take care of it. Kangaroo leather, uh, means you have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, don't get the whip wet. Um, you have to keep a leather dressing uh, on the whip. Don't let it dry out. But kangaroo leather, the finest leather for whips anywhere in the world. And after getting out all of these different materials that whips can be made out of, I thought I should try to address the one question some people might have. What's the most durable material to make a whip out of? So I tried to sort of lay them out. Probably the first thing would be titanium not very common. And then, of course, a stainless steel, also not very common and only suitable for a, a few different types of targeting tricks. And then, when it comes to regular cord, I would say that uh, Kevlar is very durable. Now, this is made out of Kevlar wicking. I sort of have the fire whip out here as an example, but you can buy like a Kevlar line, Kevlar spear fishing line and make whips out of that. That's very durable, but it's also expensive. And uh, in the back here, I would say, uh, for something that's sort of available, is the, the whip lace that Simon Martin uses. Uh, I've used these whips uh, a lot uh, ever since I got them back in 2014. So this stuff is uh, very durable and will take a lot of abuse. However, Simon's uh, whips can take about up to two years to get a pair of whips from Simon. He's a very busy guy now. So whip lace maybe is not as uh, available as it used to be. So in covering the topic of durability, I guess I would throw out there that if you're going to pick a material that's both widely available, not too expensive, uh, I would say the most durable material is parachute cord, especially if you don't want to put in any effort to take care of it. So otherwise, uh, parachute cord and kangaroo leather have about a similar durability, it's just that parachute cord requires more maintenance. my video about different materials that can be used to make a whip. My name is Adam Winrich. Thanks for watching.